Hello everybody. Today we are traveling from Siem Reap to Kampot by the giant Ibis bus. And then I will show you around my new hostel and we'll go for a little walking tour at the end. I hope you enjoy it. That's it, all packed and ready for the off. Everything turned off and off I go on my 14 day trip. This is my bus for the next nine and a half hours. Well, I timed that really well. I got here and got straight on the bus, jumped the queue. No luggage, straight on, perfect. And I've got a little berth to myself on the bottom bunk. So hopefully I'm gonna sleep and wake up tomorrow in Kampot. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board the Chaya Nabis company, the bus going to Phnom Penh and Kampot province. So on behalf of Chayana Beast, we would like to extend our profound thanks to you for choosing traveling with us tonight. My little bed is really comfortable, but unfortunately the lights don't work. So I'll be sat in the dark. It's half past four in the morning and we are just coming into Phnom Penh. It is so cold on this bus, but thankfully I did get a bit of sleep. So some people have just got off the bus in Phnom Penh and I was so cold the bus driver let me move to a double berth. It's a little warmer on this side so hopefully I'll sleep. I think I've got about another three hours on the bus before we arrive. But it's been a good trip on the whole and the beds are really comfortable. Toilets are nice. Yeah, it's really good. I've arrived in Campot, safe and well. I am absolutely froze to the bone. The um, the bus was freezing, it was so uncomfortable. So if you do the overnight bus with Giant Ibis, bring a jumper, bring a hat, gloves, go, no. But honestly, it was, it was really cold on that bus. And my feet are cold too, but I'm just off to my accommodation now. And even though it was cold, I did actually manage to sleep last night, which was good and the guy managed to find me another blanket after we got to Phnom Penh. So from Phnom Penh to here, which was about three hours, I managed to sleep really well. I've just been dropped off. It was 5,000 real by Tuk Tuk and this is my new accommodation. It looks really nice. And there's a pool. My accommodation was called Karma Traders Campot and it was so nice. On the second floor, there was a bar, restaurant, and the views looking out from there were amazing. I was in room four. This is my dorm room. Hello. It is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight berth. And I am in the middle just here. We've got a sink, a mirror. This looks like a, a bathroom. Very nice. And I've booked in here for two nights and it was $9. Come down to a hostel called Monkey Republic and they have a evening walking tour starts at five and finishes at half past so I thought I'd come and join. So that building is French Khmer and it's the new architecture and it used to be a bank until they changed it into a guest house but there is a whole YouTube video on it and I will link that below in the description for you. Jason, our tour guide, was from Canada and he was amazing. He went into such great detail about everything along the walking tour. Just here, it used to be Campot Prison six years ago. It was torn down and these buildings were put in their place. A few years back this pond used to be called the mosquito farm because it was just full of mosquitoes. There was no path around here either. Um, there was just 
crops because people needed food but now they've got fish in the pond and they eat the mosquito larvae so there is no mosquito problem Wow, this is truly spectacular. Look at that. Beautiful. So five years ago, none of this was here. This path we're walking along was nothing more than a dirt path. Um, the seahorse evidently is nothing really to do with Cambodia, but it has brought tourism into Kampot. Seahorses don't live in the water around here, but it has brought so much business to Kampot, the locals love it. So none of these people were here, there was no businesses and because of the seahorse it has brought all these people down to the front. Just across the street is O'Neill's which is the oldest western run bar in Campot. It's been here for 16 years. And a couple of doors down there is a Browns coffee that has a bit of a checkered past that building it used to be the head of the Khmer Rouge in Kampot but now it's a coffee shop our tour guide has just said if you want to hear stories from Kampot pop into O'Neill's because the owner there has got lots of them go in have a Guinness have a chat we might have to do that at a later date this building here with the Starbucks sign above it, that used to be the old fish market. So the pepper farm we went to today, this is their shop in downtown Campot and they actually supply the pepper to Harrods in London. That's a nice little fact for you about Campot and London. Hello, Can welcome you... to Bow Tree Farm. Thank you very much. Can you introduce yourself? Well, my name is Christopher Gao, um, and my wife's name is Chan Kim Lee. So most people regard pepper as, oh, that stuff you buy in the supermarket that you sprinkle on your food, food. which is a bit like saying, I know wine, <laughs> it comes in a box. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> 